Now we're going to take a closer look at the actual operation of the HydraShield. We start out in standby mode, which is used when the system is not in active operation. Both the fluid and air valves to the gun are closed at this time. Prime mode is used to push the flushing fluid out of the system or to load the system with new material. When the operator puts the system into prime mode, the pump does not fill and the material will be loaded directly out to the gun. The air to the gun stays off and the system is grounded, so no electrostatic charge is generated. The time required for priming the system is directly related to the inlet fluid pressure, material viscosity, and the length of the fluid line to the gun. After the flushing fluid is out of the system and the gun trigger is released, the operator then puts the controller into spray mode. First, the internal pump fills with paint. Once the pump is full, the isolation valve rises and the pump is now isolated from the paint supply. When the electrostatics are turned on and the gun is triggered, the ground rod rises, allowing the system to build voltage. Now the painter is spraying material with an electrostatic charge on it. When the gun trigger is released, the ground rod lowers to discharge the system and then the isolation valve lowers and the pump fills with paint. The light tower provides the operator with a visual reference so the operator can see when the isolation pump is full. If the operator wants to keep the pump from refilling in the event of needing to complete a color change or maybe it's the end of the day's production, the operator will push the do not fill button so material is depleted from the pump and not wasted. When the pump is empty, the ground rod lowers to discharge the system and then the isolation valve lowers. The operator then turns off the electrostatics to the gun and then turns off the do not fill. After that, the operator puts the system into purge mode. Purge mode is used for flushing the system or changing colors. The pump fills and dispenses as many times as needed for a complete flush of the system. Air to the gun is off and the system is grounded during a purge sequence. The light tower once again provides the operator with a visual reference to the condition of the isolation pump. Once the system is completely flushed, the operator uses the controller to go into standby mode. Finally, let's do a quick review of the unique features of the HydraShield. The low pressure HydraShield connects to a ProXP waterborne electrostatic air spray gun. For high pressure applications, a Mercur pump inside the cabinet is used to boost the fluid pressure to the ProXP waterborne electrostatic air assisted gun. The system is available with both a 15 to 1 and a 30 to 1 pump option. The HydraShield automatically refills when the gun trigger is released so the operator does not have to interact with the system. Safety for charging and discharging electrostatics is built into the system. The HydraShield uses market-proven Graco technology. It's easy to maintain and all of the major components are easily accessed and are replaceable. For operator ease of use of the controller interface makes the HydraShield system easy to configure the system parameters and spray settings. For more information on the HydraShield or any other Graco products, visit us at www.graco.com or contact your local distributor.